Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 73. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so it is time for the Class R2 uh, Euro Tour. Now, we're allowed to take any R2 European car. I think I'm going to go for the CCGT just because it's a Koenigsegg. Who wouldn't go for a Koenigsegg? Uh, we're going to be starting off with Silverstone International Circuit, uh, then Miguelo Fall, uh, Circuit de Catalunya, then the Camino Via de Montserrat Extreme Circuit. I don't believe we've actually had this track yet. I'm trying to remember. No, I don't think we have. Uh, and then the Le Mans Bugatti Circuit. Let's get going. All right. Here we go. Time for the uh, Koenigsegg. CCGT. That's quite an interesting sounding engine, actually. First gear is very slow in this thing, though. But that's understandable, because first gear kind of isn't used. But I do have a bit of a concern with these uh, hairpin corners. First gear being that slow might actually make us pretty slow out of hairpins. Uh, that last one wasn't really a great test, to be honest. So, but this one. Uh, let me load up OBS. Ah! Very nice. Smooth operator. I have a really rough time trying to drive this thing. I'm going to have to work out a way, actually, to... um. What's it called? Get my Microsoft Store working on my PC so I can install uh, Motorsport 7. Because when it comes to that game, I'm playing it on PC. They didn't release it on Steam though, which was a shame. Only uh, Motorsport... Actually, no, there wasn't even a Motorsport, it was just Horizon 4 and 5. We're on Steam. Bloody hell. Having a tough time with this thing. I wanted it because it was a Koenigsegg. It was still about one second behind Oh, we just tapped the rear of the car there. Oh, 
That's not fair. Right, we still have pretty substantial distance between us and the car in front. Uh, behind, sorry. It's the same thing, really. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Around that hairpin. Smooth operator. Not bad. Two more laps to go. Alright, we got one more lap, I uh, just got to check that message. There we go. Nice finish. Uh, I'm going to take my rewards there. And uh, 10% discount on driveline upgrades. Nice. And call in as well. That is very cool. Pun intended. Alright, here we go. Time for the Koenigsegg. Ram Magello. Bloody hell, that was wheel spin and a half. Who 
it seems this time uh, first gear hasn't been that much of a problem except for the fact my driving has. And the AI cars as well. <laughs> Is that a Maserati EMC 12? It looks like it. I believe this in front is a uh, Porsche as well. Yep. Of course it is. Ah, shit. 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 The Maserati's overtaking the Porsche, what? Interesting. They are battling for those positions while I'm <laughs> struggling to even get this podium at the moment. That is it. First lap done. Three more to go. It was a 159.161. Uh, not too bad for a lap time around here, to be honest. But again, these are R2 rated cars, so these are quick. There you go. Looking good. Oh, by the looks of it as well, my PC has just killed itself. Madness. Great. Completely missed my breaking point there. Let's get back on track. Nice.
Looking good. Coming up to the uh, final hairpin corner. Not bad. On to the final lap. 1 minute 45.951 uh, is our best time at the moment. Let's see if we can beat that. Screwed up that lap. Gutted. It was gonna be great. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Every time I say I'm gonna push for a lap, I always jinx myself, so it's kind of pointless bothering with it, anyways. Um. Ah, shit. No. Here we go, finish line. Jazz hands. Ta da! Very nice result there. Alright, here we go. Koenigsegg. Around. Is this Catalonia? It is. I'm getting good at recognizing tracks based off of the uh, starting animation now. Wow, this thing gets some speed. Was that 165 just off the line? I'm interested to see how much speed we can get uh, on that straight once we um, get past that first corner. Interesting. Not too bad. This is always the corner that um, makes cars go extremely unstable as you try and go through them. There we go, not bad. We got nearly to 165 on that um, main straight before we hit the start-finish line. 182, but I did hit the rev limiter a couple of times, so that meant we weren't actually getting any uh, performance out of it. Any extra speed. We've got to be a bit careful around this corner here, because it does seem to want to lose the rear end uh, at points. Very nice. Keep that going. Quite a lot of heavy braking zones in this uh, track, to be honest. Qu 
quite a few. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, what the... <laughs> oh, that was charming. Fucking beautiful. Not bad. Getting very close to 190 miles an hour there. You know, I would love to take a race car around a racetrack one day. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, that was a 145.046, by the way. Pretty decent lap time. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to go round... I don't know. Probably a British track first. Maybe take a car around Brands Hatch. Could be quite cool. Coming up to the heavy braking zone. Eee, brake. Oh. Very nice. Oh, Jesus. Why was it not turning? Car didn't want to go around the corner. There you go, nice. Woo woo. Probably need to check whatever that was. Oh, for Christ's sake, man! Completely binned it. Let's get that rewind. Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> OBS is telling me that my mic is peaking a little bit here. Okay, much better. Sort of. Managed to save it, just about. I've now got two very angry vehicles on my tail and actually touching my tail. Get off my bunda. Thank you very much. Corner number 40. Oh, hit it. <laughs> Now, from that point, 
when I accidentally shifted into reverse, there was no way I was saving it, so. That's the one thing I'm not a fan of in Forza, is you can actually act, um, accidentally shift into a reverse gear, which basically ruins your car spins automatically as soon as you do that. Because the car engine can't go backwards. Uh, we've now got a 10% discount on centrifugal supercharger upgrades. Nice. Result. Alright, here we go. It is time for the Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg CCGT again. So this is around the extreme. Um, Camino Vio de Montserrat. Uh, it's kind of interesting that um, Camino Vio is the one that gets the extreme version of the circuit and not like Ladera or um, what is it in Iberian that's it Iberian International Circuit even though it contains the Ladera test track and the Iberian International Circuit um yeah, this is basically what Test Track was in Motorsport 2. So, Motorsport 2 had the Snake Circuits, and then it also had the big one. This has three Test Tracks. You have Camino Vio, Ladera, and then also... What was the third one? Iberian. I keep forgetting Iberian. Poor Iberian. Um, and then you also have this one, which has all of them joined together. The only difference is this actually has a couple of extra roads added to it to link them because they are completely individual circuits. They have no correlation between them. Whereas with, um, what's it called? The test track in Motorsport 2, that was one big track that was cut into little tracks. This is three little tracks that are built up to make one big track. For some reason my preview window seems to be stuttering a little bit, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Ooh. Woo. That was very quick. Very nice run through that section. thing is, I'm feeling a lot of, like, delay. And I don't know why. I'm gonna have to work out why that is. we go. Coming up to the spaghetti noodle of hairpins. There's three of them. Not bad. 
So yeah, we're looking at um, 2 minutes and 40 seconds for that last lap. Uh, so this is actually going to be quite a long race when you think about it. But then again, it is three small racetracks joined together. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. E. Nice. I wonder if you can buy cards that just have, like, AV1 encoders on. Like, that doesn't have the graphics capability, it's just an encoder. Because AV1 is really picking up at the moment, especially with these new NVIDIA 40 series cards. Uh, it could be quite nice to actually, um... Ah, oh, you tip. Do you know I'm not going to rewind because I'm not far enough back for that to make a difference. I am now neck and neck though. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to get like some form of like AV1 encoding support, like with a dedicated encoder for this PC. Especially with how much better AV1 is looking at the moment. I would like to be able to have that much higher quality video um, for less bitrate because I could quite easily start rendering this at 10,000 kilobits because uh, at the moment I'm doing it at 20,000 I could easily move this down to 10,000 it would look the same or bump it up again to 20,000 and have a much higher quality stream uh, or what's it called high quality YouTube content Cause quality is everything. See how fast we can go with this one. No slowdown whatsoever, but a half a second tap on the brakes but I need to rewind anyways because I've accidentally gone into reverse there you go saved it Not bad. Result. Good race. Good race there. Okay, this is taking a while to load. There we go. Right, the Bugatti circuit. This is the last um, race of this championship. These cars are all very close together from the start. You see the McLaren F1 actually... Um, fighting there with the Maserati MC12. This was definitely an interesting choice of vehicle, I'll be honest. A little bit of contact there. Ah, 
Oh, you tit. Bad. We have five laps of this track. Chicane coming up. Ooh. I am sort of looking forward to uh, Motorsport 4. Um, I know for that, to complete the event list, we're going to have the Top Gear stuff, which could be a pain in the backside to deal with. I don't know yet. Uh, I know Motorsport 5 has uh, showcase events, which is like your Top Gear stuff, um, your autocross, all the out of the ordinary things. The only thing is, I don't know whether I'm going to be doing them or not. Because some of the endurance races are long. Really long. So. I don't know. We will have to see. Looking good. Not bad. Right, three laps left to go. We've got uh, 71 hours and 32 minutes on the timer so far. Um, even though this... Uh, these two videos have been recorded um, without a live stream. I've still got the timer running so that I can keep track on how long we've actually been playing the game for. Wow. Do you want to make any more noise, Daisy? Looking good. Not bad. On to lap number four. We've got two more laps to go. That last lap was our best one yet, but we're already uh, half a second faster, so which is quite impressive. Right, are we going to get a split time any minute now?
three seconds. What the fuck? Impressive. All right, I'll take it. Ooh. I thought I was going to go wide, to be honest, and completely lose it. Thing is, going wide would invalidate the lap time, and because we had a good lap for the last one, um, it no matter how fast we went, we wouldn't get it as a best lap. Because every best lap now has to be like good laps. 2.9 seconds faster, and a lot of that time was lost in that last section. We're at 3.3, and we lost that 0.4. I don't think we're going to beat that uh, lap time this lap. No. We've gone wide, so that's in the bin. Get in the bin, lad. Get in the bin. bad. Final two corners. Oh, shit. I've overturned. Nice. And across the line. God, my Xbox 360 is struggling with this game lately. I have to get a new one. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, and that's the Class R2 Euro Tour done. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.